Mastering how to conduct a workplace safety audit. The safety audit will scrutinize everything. Which specific aspects of the organization will be encompassed by the safety audit, and what is its overall purpose and scope in terms of the departments, processes, and facilities that will be evaluated to ensure operational excellence. Conducting a comprehensive workplace safety audit is essential to identify and mitigate potential hazards, ensure compliance with regulatory requirements, and foster a culture of operational excellence within an organization. The scope of the safety audit should encompass all aspects of the organization, including departments, processes, and facilities, to provide a thorough assessment of the overall safety environment. The safety audit should begin with a review of the organization's safety policies, procedures, and protocols to ensure they are comprehensive, up-to-date, and align with industry best practices and regulatory requirements. This includes reviewing emergency response plans, first aid procedures, and training programs for employees. The audit should also evaluate the organization's safety management system, including the roles and responsibilities of safety personnel, incident reporting and investigation procedures, and risk assessment and mitigation strategies. In terms of departments, the safety audit should encompass all areas of the organization, including production, maintenance, warehousing, and office spaces. This includes evaluating the safety of equipment, machinery, and processes, as well as the working conditions and practices of employees. The audit should identify potential hazards, such as falls, electrical shock, fire, and ergonomic risks and assess the effectiveness of controls and safeguards in place to prevent or mitigate these hazards. The safety audit should also evaluate the organization's compliance with relevant regulations, standards, and industry best practices. This includes reviewing records of training, inspections, and testing, as well as ensuring that all necessary permits and licenses are up to date. The audit should identify any gaps or deficiencies in compliance and provide recommendations for rectification. Furthermore, the safety audit should assess the organization's incident reporting and investigation procedures to ensure that all incidents are reported, investigated, and recorded accurately and in a timely manner. This includes evaluating the effectiveness of root cause analysis and corrective action programs to prevent recurrence of incidents. Facilities and physical environments should also be evaluated as part of the safety audit. This includes assessing the condition and maintenance of buildings, infrastructure, and equipment, as well as the provision of adequate lighting, ventilation, and sanitation facilities. The audit should identify any hazards or risks associated with the physical environment and provide recommendations for improvement. In addition to evaluating the physical environment, the safety audit should also assess the organization's safety culture and behavioral safety practices. This includes evaluating employee perceptions and attitudes towards safety, as well as the effectiveness of safety training and communication programs. The audit should identify any gaps or deficiencies in safety culture and provide recommendations for improvement. The safety audit should be conducted by a qualified and experienced auditor or audit team who should have a thorough understanding of the organization's operations, industry best practices, and regulatory requirements. The audit should be comprehensive, objective, and transparent, with findings and recommendations presented in a clear and concise report. The report should identify areas of strength and weakness, as well as opportunities for improvement, and provide practical recommendations for addressing deficiencies and implementing best practices. The report should also prioritize findings and recommendations, based on risk and impact, to ensure that the most critical safety issues are addressed promptly. Implementation of the safety audit recommendations should be monitored and tracked, with progress reported to senior management and other stakeholders. This includes tracking incidents, near misses, and hazards reported, as well as the effectiveness of corrective actions and safety initiatives. Ultimately, the purpose and scope of the safety audit are to ensure operational excellence by identifying and mitigating hazards, ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements, and fostering a culture of safety within the organization. By conducting a comprehensive and thorough safety audit, organizations can reduce the risk of incidents and injuries, improve productivity and efficiency, and enhance their reputation and brand.